Uh, other than that, or it, 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 let's just go ahead and jump into our uh, Duracoat Finish Firearm of the Week. What should we... All right, well, do you want me to do the show? I'm doing the show. All right, it is time for our Duracoat Finish Firearm segment, brought to you by our good buddies at Duracoat Finish, Duracoat Firearm Finishes. Uh, And, of course, if you'd like to be an expert finisher, well, they'll teach you how to be an expert starter and an expert finisher. Wouldn't you say that's true, Jared? Yes. They will teach you. They will teach you how to not only to be an expert finisher but an expert starter and all you have to do is go over to duracoat university's online duracoat certification course they'll give you they'll set you up uh with everything you need to know to be a pro finisher and here's the deal guys man i'm talking to you men. right now just because you gotta set your ego aside just because set you're you. a man does not mean you are an expert finisher okay. yeah, that's right you need to you need to get some training Get to get some training. So my question to you guys out there in the audience is, what color would you Duracoat your AK? That's a good question, isn't it? You could do, I mean, you could have traditionalists who do the uh, wood. You have to have wood. S- slightly darker black, you know. Uh, and you don't, yeah, you don't have to. Uh, you can Duracoat on wood. Uh, I wouldn't, I mean, you can Duracoat on anything you want. Uh, do but whatever you want. Duracoat actually has wood refinishing kits. So if, if you've got an AK with a wooden stock and wooden forearm and so forth, and they're pretty beat up, they can help you refinish those so they don't look like warmed over garbage. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, Vern? Uh, of course, all the parts on an AK are either, uh, well, they're either stamp steel or they're machine steel. Uh, maybe, well, no, that's not true. If you get an Occam Defense AK, there's alum- there's aluminium on there. Yeah, there is aluminium on an Occam Defense AK. But uh, what what color would you Duracoat your AK? I mean, you could go with something traditional like uh, slightly darker black. You do that. I like that. Uh, or a uh, the World War II olive drab green. I really like the World War II olive drab green. You know what makes a great combination uh, is combining the slightly darker black and the world war ii olive drab so you could make the furniture black and then the body green or the body green and the furniture black or whatever you can do whatever you want man uh you could do the i'm not sure where we stand with the baby poop yellow and bush green yet uh whether or not enough of our fan base has very politely contacted uh Duracoat and said hey I would like to have that I would purchase it from you if you made it available to me I would make that I would do that uh, and if you'd like to do that it's really easy the the people at Duracoat are some fantastic individuals and uh, just go to their website and at the bottom you guys know how to navigate a website if you don't go get your 14 year old grandson uh, and they'll help you out uh, it says contact us and then there's a little one that says send a note Put in your name, your email address, and your message. And the message would be, Baby Poop Yellow, yes, I will purchase that from you. And it's as simple as that. So for all your professional firearms finishing, refinishing, coding needs, we go to Duracoat Finish Firearms because they have more SKUs, they have more options than any other firearm refinishing company on planet Earth. Yeah, they, you know they have a Dura Park. Like what? Where you go play? Yeah, no, no, no. A Dura Park. It's a parkerizing. It's not just colors. They have Dura dyes, which is an adenizing. Where's Dura dyes? Dura dyes. D i z e. Dura dyes. That's right. So the Dura dyes. He's like, I want my gun to look like it was anodized well it th- dude they've got so many colors they've got black they've got red green yellow purple orange no let me see no I mean, all right it's black dark earth od green sapphire violet 
scarlet wine. Oh, you ready for one, Jared? Chartreuse. Yes. Chartreuse. Ginger. When I pick out my uh, <laughs> my turtlenecks, it's a, it's a choice for me. It's between chartreuse and slightly darker black. <laughs> Those are the two colors that I have to choose from. Mm. And jade. That's the Duradize. So, uh, literally, you, you could... There's so many options. I know it could get confusing to you, but uh, that's why it's good to be an American. That's why it's good to be an American. All right, moving on. Moving on. Moving on.